I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find exact value of sine of cos inverse half plus sine inverse 3 by 4. So let us say that cos inverse half is equal to a right. In that case cos a is equal to half perfect. Now if cos a is half then what is sine a that is what we need to figure out so let us say uh, this is our triangle where the angle a is this angle cos a is half means adjacent side to hypotenuse and therefore that side should be 2 square minus 1 square square root which is square root of 3 also remember one thing that a has to be an angle between 0 to pi correct because only in this interval cos inverse will be a function right that's important to understand now in this situation what is sine a sine a will be square root 3 over 2 square root 3 over 2 right similarly let us find out the value of the other angle so when we say sine inverse of 3 over 5 I can write this as equal to b and in that case sine b will be equal to 3 over 5 you can form a triangle with 3 as opposite side and 5 as hypotenuse adjacent will be 4 right since this is a right triangle for a sine inverse function b has to be between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 correct now since sine is positive we are in quadrant 1 remember that part so both are in quadrant 1 both are positive so remember i should have mentioned it earlier that in this case both the angles are in quadrant 1 since both are positive okay so from here we can say that the value of cos b should be 4 over 5. Now the expression which is given to us is sine of cos inverse half plus sine inverse 3 by 5. I could write this as let me write this as sine of cos inverse half is a right so we could write this as a plus sine inverse 3 by 5 is b so it becomes sine of a plus b we could expand this using compound angle formula sine a cos b plus cos a sine b perfect now we know the values of sine a cos b let's substitute them sine a is square root 3 over 2 cos b is 4 over 5 plus cos a is half and sin b is 3 over 5 right 3 over 5 so let's add them to get the result common denominator is 10 numerator is 4 times square root 3 plus plus 3 right so that becomes our answer 4 square root 3 plus 3 over 10 right this cannot be further simplified so that becomes our answer so that is how you could actually find exact value of such expressions I hope the concept is clear we'll take few more videos and then uh, I hope you it'll give you good practice thank you and all the best